Let me turn around here. Okay. Welcome <laughs> to another griping edition of the G3 Sportsman. That's what we've been doing this morning. Not at each other, but... Well, there has been some issues this morning that I could be griping at him about, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, anyway, we were going to bass fish. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, but the reports about the crappie have just been too good to pass up. Anyway, we're here today on beautiful Stockton Lake, putting in here at the state park. And uh, hopefully we can find some fish. We don't really know where they're at, but we can pretty much find them because we've got the you-know-what up there. So have any excuses so come along with us let's see how this goes it's starting out just like it normally does with a, a mess but uh hey welcome to another edition of the g3 sportsman and uh we'll be out there on our first spot here in a little bit hopefully catching us a mess of cropping see you out there here. On the crappie? How deep you fishing? Yeah. Now why would this? I don't know. I don't know. Now the gas gauge is working, so that's good. As you can see now, another issue. Can't get the console graph to come on. And what you do? Just reset the fuse? Yeah, so G3 puts a nice little fuse panel down there, and all you gotta do is reach in there and they got these little plastic buttons. And if the fuse is popped, it sticks out. So I felt the click. Show sure enough. She's on. Okay. We in business. Right in the sun. Right in the sun. <laughs> Blind everybody. Keeper. Nice keeper. Nice keeper. Okay, let me tell you the scenario we got here. There's eight boats on this lake. We went to six spots, and there's six of the, of the eight boats are on spots. So we've had to run all the way up here, and we may have a spot to ourselves. But there you go. A little swimming minna here on a little beat jig head. I see That's one, so we'll just see. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. You got that clear one on there. Well, I didn't know what to start with. You know, we've all had those days to where you pull up on a, one of your spots or whatever, and somebody's on it or whatever, and uh, it makes you mad or whatever. But I'm telling you, we're just as guilty because half the time that we're on a spot to where we think, okay, we found these fish. What well, somebody else had already found those fish too. So they come rolling up, and now we're on it. We made a beeline back down the lake, and we were gonna go where we originally wanted to start. So really, I'm watching this. Because if you get lucky enough to run right over it, obviously you'll see it on down, but this is going 160 feet, 80 feet either way. Then I'll come back around, and I'll go right over whatever I see. Taking the top of that brush. Got him. A bluegill. Mm -hmm. Is it a crappie? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Good gracious. Now, can we catch more than one off the wow. you. This is not easy today. <laughs> Every place we go to where we can find brush. Every place we go to find brush, there's boats. So, we've just had to find a good one. We've just had to find our own. Come on. And that's what we're doing. Double right up, now. double up. Nice one. 
Heck yeah. There we go. Now, now we're talking. We found our own. <laughs> yeah, we found our own. Found our own. Found our own. That's what we had to do. Sometimes chasing other people's bites is tough. It is. Slowed down a little bit, took our time graphing, saw it on side imaging, and then came back straight over the top. I put mine over on the left. There we go. He shot a long ways. Good. Good fish. Too. Boy, you are terrible. Good crappie. Good fish, man. Gotta get Good that fish in. What are these little hooks you got going? Well, they usually catch them. What do, we, what do I do? Pull it out of his mouth? Well, apparently. That was a good one. All right, don't horse them. I've been horsing them, Scott. They got That's a good one there. That's a pretty doggone good one there. They got mush mouth, don't they? You're going to walk him all the way back to the back. Well, I'm nervous now, you know. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm ripping their mouths open here. But, hey, we got us a spot so far. Got a good peeper. On the on the lucky strike, what do they call lucky bugs? They're called swimming minnows. And okay. you got him on that thing there. You need to show swimming them up minnows. here. I got him on my chest. You need to learn to use the cameras that we have. There we go. Scott's training me on using GoPros. Jeez, apparently. Gosh, that bass guy likes to walk them plumb back to the back of the boat. He doesn't give me any credit for slowing down and graphing. Walking it back to the back, circling the boat. I got my chesty on. I know you don't like it. Oh, now look at us. I get up here and Scott's got us on top of the pile. Yeah, I can maybe see, my, see where I'm at. I mean, I'm not really seeing mine either. Very few of mine because of all those fish. I even cast beyond them, and I don't see it. Shoot up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, buddy. They like it on that front Dang. side, don't they? Look at these stocking crappies. Is that a black crappie? No. no. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me. White crappie, huh? Uh -huh. They're good keepers. They are, man. And you know, the bite's not bad. It's not slow by any means. I mean, it's not every cast. What the, what's the head, the beat? The beat head. Yeah. Where are they out of? I don't know. <laughs> You're supposed to know that. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> You're out live scoping and somebody's running the foot pedal, which I would gladly give up. All you got to do is let them get where they want to cast, and then when they cast, cast right side. All right. Put you right over the top. Go over the top. See what we can do dipping. It's you got a fish? Mm -hmm. How about and that? A good one. And a good one. Got on that back side pile of them. There got you go. another one. Hey. There you go. Don't be throwing a tsunami on them. <laughs> there we go, guys. I don't know, I think that's number four or five for me. Fish catcher, that kind of has a ring to it, Scott. Fish catcher? What do you mean? <laughs> he called me fish catcher. You said you counting that fish catcher? You be careful or I'll just put a weapon on you here. I don't care. That, if you think it's a competition, there you're nuts. Go. Another good keeper. Guys, we're just sitting here. We were looking for piles in about 20 feet. And right now, we're a little shallow for what we thought we'd be doing, but it's absolutely 
chuck full of fish. They're not just every time fighting over it, but about every what, six, eight cast, we get a bite. Yeah. Little cloud coming in. And I don't see mine either. There you are. There I saw it. For a brief second, I saw it. Look how these fish are up getting mm -hmm. towards the surface. That when that cloud cover came in. Yeah. They come up towards the surface. Here goes mine. Oh, oh. We just need one to get spunky and make the others go, hold on now. How about just <laughs> drop down? There you go, look at that one. Drop straight down. <laughs> There we go. Dipped him with my little six footer. <laughs> my little six footer on there. <laughs> I did. We got so close, I just dipped it straight down. Just brought her straight up. Hey, any way to catch a crappie, that's what we're doing. We've got better technology we've ever had. There's, there's no reason uh, to where you can't find fish or at least some sort of habitat that may hold fish. And then once you do find the fish, then you've got you know what up there in the front and it's it's just game on. So anyway, we found some fish and uh, with our technology and we, we made good use of it. We kept what we needed and uh, it, it, it turned out to be a good day after about two hours of unsuccessful uh, trying to find a place to fish. something. <laughs> He's on to something. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> hey, now let me try this. Uh, I mean, why not? Now let me try this. Hold on. <laughs> Just break it up slow. Just break it up slow. Sitting here dipping with my six foot ACC, and I'm dipping with the swimming minnow, which, in well, its name itself tells you that you're swimming it. Got him. Oh, tree. Oh, yeah, we are. Come on now. You're, you're messing up my. my yeah, tell me we're that. right over the top of it now. Come on. Did it break? Now you need to. You need to trade your line out in the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy when you see what you're doing. Yeah, they're they're locked in. I'm trying to catch this this next fish here. Yeah, I think I thought I could catch another while I'm holding this one. I do. I got him. See, now you guys know why I count against him because he's showing off. Did you just go straight down on the hill? Yeah, there we go. How about that? That is a solo doubling up right there. Solo <laughs> double. Here it comes. Oh. Got it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, straight above them is the ticket, man. Yeah. Who would have thought? Get 
to every size too. Sure. I mean, we haven't caught a short. No. No. Can't beat that. Uh uh. Boy, them Loico hooks are sharp now. Them little sickle hooks. There we go. Kind of tore up my swimming minnow, but you got more, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't have any shortage of swimming minnows? Yeah, that I couldn't tell you that. All right, guys. So we've caught a few casting, and I've been real careful about getting up on them because they're pretty shallow, but Scott's happened across this bite where he's literally just dropping a swimming minnow straight down and slowly reeling it back up, which won't surprise you guys at crappie fish, but it is kind of surprising because they're biting it better than when we're casting it and bringing it over and they want it coming straight up. There we go. Well, finally. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh. Golly, you are the fish losingest. Man, I tell you. Another You're, good one. You are pitiful. You are snagging some. I am. I can hang that brush pile. But that doesn't cost us a fish. You've lost two or three. At least three. With your bass hook sets. Did you? Just lift up. You have so much weight. Brush pile. Just lift that one. Just lift up, and then you can put your thumb in their mouth. <laughs> See how easy that is, right there. Just as you're lifting up, just a little simple. You don't have to rear back and ho whoo. He's got a bend in his pedestal pole there over to a lucky bug. I'm gonna be just dipping and going straight up the like a little lucky bug. Just kinda... Yep, that's that's exact. <laughs> it's not very fancy, you know. It's not very fancy at all. You don't have to see where you're. I mean, just as long as you're close, you know where you're at. They follow them down. You don't have to know where you're at once it hits the bottom. Just start bringing it up real slow. <laughs> Just bring it up real slow. Got him. <laughs> See? Looky here, looky here. Have we got us a technique? I, mean, that, I thought that was a white or something. No, that's a white crappie. Heck no. Oh, and it's perfect right here. Just dropping on him, huh? Well, I mean, you do what you can. It's working. Hey, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you go to back off and start casting and not catch them, or? Mm -hmm. You saw that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And these are good crappie, too. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are good crappie. What we've done has just been silly. We've looked. We spent two hours looking for brush piles, boats on everything. 10 or 12 boats, about all we've seen, and I think every one of them's been on a brush pile. It's been something else. So we just said, you know what? Just like in Major League, up your Joe Boo, do it myself. And that's what we did, didn't we? We just came out and we found our own. Everybody's been saying 20 feet, 20 feet. Well, we've been in 15, we've been in 14, 13. A little unorthodox in how we're doing. We're not really swimming them. We have caught them that way, but we've just been kind of dipping, pitching in there, and catching them. And this is uh, this has been rewarding, that's for sure. But we come out here and we found them ourselves. We get on somebody else's pile. We we absolutely found them ourselves. Anything you need to add here while we learn it down? Never give up. Never give up. And we've actually done this in about an hour. Is what we've done. You said 11 o'clock. We got here and it's. 12.05, so I mean, we've about got our two limits. We are going to fish for a little bit, but uh, hey, we're going to get out of here. Keep what you can use to release the rest. And just remember, thanks a lot for watching G3 Sportsman. Check us all out on our social media and streaming, and we really appreciate every one of you. There you go. Crumpy time. Monday.
got to retie. Back to the pit. <laughs> Try the old lucky bug, lucky bug. Lucky bug, lucky bug, lucky bug. Lucky bug. Every trip, these things. They'll turn the master power on the boat. It is on. They like that smaller swimming minnow though, don't they? Mm -hmm. I had to take that bigger one off. They like this two, two inch. And I'll tell you one thing, it's hard to get in there, but once you, once you pry one out. It's the most amazing thing on this live scope and how you can go through times, never see your bait, never. <laughs>